Hello. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a quick tutorial on bouncing your master file, uh, bouncing your master channel into a new file, into a new channel, so that um, you can do cool little effects to it and slice it up in different ways and make it kind of interesting. So I'll show you how you do that now. This is just a tune that I'm working on at the moment. <laughs> glitchy thing so I'm thinking like at the end of this bar here between these points here I'm going to bounce the master and slice it up in different ways and do a little bit of effecting to it and stuff like that to make it seem like it's I don't know, kind of interesting and has a cool drop to it so what I'll do is I'll create a new channel a uh, new audio channel by just pressing command T and open that channel up and then I'll take the input of the channel from the master rather than any of the other channels and so I'll click master and then what you want to do is turn the channel off because if you press record with the channel on it ends up just feeding back and creating a nasty hiss that you don't really want to hear so I'll press record up here press record up here and then I'll click a little bit back on the grid just to make sure that I get it all and then press spacebar to start recording. So I'll just trim it, get rid of that bit. Uh, where did I want to start from? Trim it here. Then what I'll do is I'll highlight everything else I have and I'll press Command E to slice all those files so I'm not damaging anything else and I'll right click the file and I'll choose deactivate clips and then I'll turn record off here so I don't get that hiss and then turn that channel on and then I'll rename this channel master or something like that and then what you'll see will happen is um it'll play over all these channels here but then when it gets to this section it'll still sound like it's playing through all these channels here but it'll actually be playing, playing just through one channel and I have the option to slice that all up and it's much easier than slicing up all these channels so we'll hear how that sounds so yeah basically I've got this audio on one channel you can see it looks like it's got a little bit of latency so I'll just grab the start of that file and drag it back yeah that's good so what I might do to this to start off with is turn my grid on to narrowest and I'll just uh, do a bit of slicing and duplicating I'll slice this bit here, reverse that might do a slice here, make it 12 semitones higher slice this here and maybe duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that and I might take that and reverse it yeah, that sounds. Good. Might have to slice these reverse things up. Sounds a bit weird. That sounds a bit weird. I'll reverse that. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. I'll duplicate these, consolidate, I'll put a bit of a fade on them. Yeah, basically what you're doing here is just slicing everything up and making it glitch out really hard. It's much easier to do it on one single channel than doing it on all the separate channels. So you can go sort of as crazy with this as you want. I tend to sometimes go a bit over the top with it, but that's kind of what my music calls for, I guess. So I'll just duplicate everything and make it sound like it's really full on. Yeah, it's cool like that. So then I'll maybe open a ping pong delay up on that channel, put it on time mode, and have the time creep up from zero maybe to yeah, 30 milliseconds, and then after this part just drop straight back to zero so you don't get any decay on it. <laughs> Yep, 
So basically that's what I do sometimes to create crazy little sections in my songs. I hope you enjoy. Cheers, take care.